What's going on YouTube? Vapor Function LA here. Today we're going to be talking about one of Samurai Mod's awesome products that they have on the market. These are actually pretty limited edition, but you guys can get your hands on them. This one is called a Kamikaze Tank. This is a very badass tank and I am very blessed that they sent one out to me and did a collab and put my logo on it. I'm very happy about it to have a tank with my logo on it and thank you to them. But let's take it down below, take a look at this thing, and I'm actually going to try building on this thing on the RDA section. Um, we're going we're gonna to take a look at it, and then we're going to come back and talk more about it. See you guys down below. Alright you guys, so now we are up close with the Kamikaze Tank by Samurai Mods. And what you see me vape on was actually this tank right here, and this is the Kamikaze Samurai Mods tank, and this is the Vapor Function LA version. Um, this one right here, I just cleaned it out before I did up close because I'm actually going to do the RBA build on here for you guys and kind of figure it out myself, just hands on for the first time. So, new users with this tank, you're going to see exactly what you're going to be going through with the new build on this thing if you're going to be using RBA. I mean, this tank with the RBA section it's kind of like a little bit more for advanced users because just the way it is I, I'll explain it when I get more into it but let's take a look at the actual box that everything comes in and the tank itself so this is the box that it comes in it's got like a chrome finish to it with the kamikaze tank and the samurai on it it's really really dope and on the bottom it says only true unique no leakage enclosure system utilize both replacement coil RBA deck for your convenience it's kind of like scratched off it says warning only for advanced users please seek a specialist when setting up this device so I can't I can't stress it anymore like if you're getting into a tank that's for advanced users I highly recommend getting help if you don't know what you're doing all right, so let's open up this box and take a look at the stainless steel version of this tank. This is made out of stainless steel. This is 304 stainless steel. It's a very premium stainless steel. Uh, this is the tank itself. It does come with the extra glass. I will show you this in a minute because it's kind of like a surprise because it has their engraved logo on it and it looks really cool on glass. I haven't seen anybody engrave anything on glass, so I'll show you guys that in a minute. This is the tank itself. It's very, very clean. It says on here, courage, honor, and loyalty. It says the exact same thing on the black version. And this tank has water in it. I was just using it, but like I said, I'm gonna be building on this thing. So it's kind of dirty, so keep that in mind. It has my logo on here. Thank you, Samurai Mods, for putting my logo on here. It's very awesome that you guys did that. I appreciate it a lot. And this is actually one of my favorite tanks for flavor. It has decent cloud production. It's kind of hand-in-hand, -hand, but the flavor is a lot more on this. I mean, it's not too crazy of a draw. The airflow on the bottom, it's it looks like it has a lot of airflow, but it's kind of more restricted. But it's just about perfect with the airflow. All right, so as we take a look at these on the bottom you have the silver plated brass connection on the bottom I believe because you can kind of see the yellowish tint to it when you turn it to the side so I believe it's brass a brass pin on the bottom on the bottom as you see it says the same thing as a drip tip courage honor and loyalty is basically their motto and it has samurai mods and it has their laser engraved logo on the bottom and it looks very very clean this one, it's kind of scratched up a little bit. Uh, I'm not really sure if that was my fault or not. It's just been sitting in the box. And I've taken it out and showcased it on a couple mods. So that's probably because of some mods or it's just scuffs or something. It looks like it actually rubs off. So it might just need a little bit of polishing or something. The threading on here is buttery smooth. It threads into mods very, very easy. I have a Sigeli Spark right here. And... It actually threads in very smooth. I mean, it's buttery smooth when you thread it in. It almost seems like it's not even threading. It just goes on really smooth. And it looks really good on any mod. This is a very small mod. It, I'm gonna be reviewing this really soon. But 
it looks really good on mods and it looks really good on two mods as well they have a samurai mods two mod and it looks even better on that thing because it's basically made for it and it looks just like this and it, it, it really looks good so as we look at the top and you look down the bottom it has a really wide bore drip tip let me take this off as you can see it's a wide bore drip tip but the chamber is actually really small I'm not really sure why they did that but I guess it causes a little bit more of an air restriction in here you do if you like what I was saying this tank it kind of has more of like a tighter draw it looks like it's airy but it's not it's probably because of this but if you want more of an area draw you do have your option to open up the airflow on a drip tip right here and you do have three airflow holes on each side and it actually is pretty airy when you open this up and it does cool the tip down a lot but the tank itself doesn't really get hot so it kind of works hand in hand I guess all right so as we're looking at this we have the tank right here this thing has many many pieces I mean it has many pieces you have the top piece and then you have the glass then you have the chimney that actually comes off then you have the bottom RTA section that comes off and then you have all these different o-rings inside here you have your juice flow it's a big silicone ring around the inside and they include a whole bunch of spares I'll show you that in a little bit but what's this tank what you do how you work it is that you take the bottom and you actually twist it and it opens up your juice flow with this tank it actually has a very very good non leakage system I mean you can have this tank full and you can use the same coil for weeks I mean it's very very nice on the design that they did you basically close off your juice flow and you vape on it until you think that your coil is getting a little dry so you know it's not really saturated so much and you just close this off and then you can just set it down and just leave it there I mean it can sit on the side I had the other one on my rebuilding station that we're at right now and it was just sitting there on the side and it had the juice flow closed and then it was completely full of juice and I had old juice in here and it didn't leak out whatsoever and it's just been sitting here for weeks all right so when we look at this you have the bottom piece we're gonna take that apart right now just to show you I'm gonna close off the airflow well the juice flow I mean and on the bottom actually let me show you the airflow options too you have five airflow holes on the bottom is for each side and it basically locks on each side completely closed you can't turn it to the left anymore and you bring it all the way to the right it does have little like flat spots on the sides so it's really easy to turn on and off the airflow and you're not going to turn your juice flow on and off on accident because it's very very tight actually, I actually have this tank sort of really tight so there you go kind of like you're like mm, you know what I mean it's it's really tight there's a lot of friction to it so let me take this bottom off so you can take a look at the connection on the bottom this is that silver plated brass on the bottom as well and as you can see the machine quality on here is very very nice so let me unscrew the top portion of the tank so you have this right here like I was saying you can't really see the o-rings they're kind of hidden you just barely have a glimpse of the side of it then you have an o-ring right here for your chimney and that's actually extra with this thing too all right so we have your top section with the glass let me take this off and as you can see it has the o-ring around the inside this one's a little bit easier to see the other one just isn't and this actually has a whole bunch of pieces to it as well like the RTA section actually comes apart the chimney comes off the way you switch to the RBA section you have to take the screw out on the inside and we're gonna be doing that on this video as well for you guys because I've never done it and you're gonna see exactly how to build on this thing alright so let me show you the coil that's in here because it's pretty crazy 
the replaceable coil on here it's not like any other coil it's actually wrapped with Japanese cotton around the edges and on the inside and your coil goes down it's a vertical coil and wicking this thing you basically take your syringe or your your dripper and you have to wick the outside of this when you have a new coil and then you have to wick on the inside on the top just a little bit then when you're ready you insert it in when it's nice and saturated and you fill your tank up with juice bleh. then you have to open up your juice flow and let it sit there for about maybe five minutes and then you should be good all right so let's take a look at what's inside the box so let's scoot this stuff over a little bit all right so i was talking about this glass piece right here earlier so i'm gonna show you guys that first before i get into anything else um i think it's really cool that they have their logo actually engraved on this glass it looks really cool i'm just keeping it right here not really using it i'm gonna use it later on but it's only gonna be like just special occasions if i'm out at an event when they have their Samurai Mods sponsoring or something. I'm going to support them with this actually, uh, their logo on it. It looks really freaking nice. And just on the tank itself, with my logo, it just looks really, really good. If I sound kind of funny, I'm actually eating some Sour Patch Kids, so I apologize, this is very good. Like this video if you love Sour Patch Kids. <laughs> Alright, anyways, let's take this out. So what's on the bottom of this box right here really surprised me because Samurai Mods, they're so freaking cool, like inside here you have a lot of stuff I mean look at it's like this high the whole thing inside is full of goodies let me open this up I mean my first reaction when I opened this up I was like oh my god I have so much stuff in here I'm so thankful for this company sending me all the stuff maybe they just sent it just for me no actually everything in this box actually comes with every single one of the kamikaze tanks so i'm gonna open this up and show you everything that comes with i mean it has coils you have replacement parts you have your rba deck you have everything all right so right here first off look how much o-rings come in here you have replacement o-rings for days you have small ones you have your juice flow silicone ring i mean this is a thick silicone it's really like a good material of silicone when you like with this tank i mean i've used this for months and months and months and mine it's not worn out at all it's it still has a lot of friction a lot of traction like it's like it's like a rubber tire like to the ground i mean it takes like like you physically have to turn it you can't just like it will not move all right, so looking at this box, we talked about all of the stuff that it came with. Then you have like all this stuff, look it. You have a 1.2 ohm coil. You have a 0.6 ohm coil. You have a 1.0 ohm Clapton. You have a 0 0.5 ohm Clapton. That's four coils so far. Then you have another coil. So you have a 0 0.2 ohm coil. So this thing comes completely with five coils. I mean, five coils coming with a tank, that's really worth it. And for the price of this tank, it's worth it. Then you have your RBA section. You have your RBA deck. I mean, it's fairly small. It's basically only for Clapton coil or a single coil or whatever you can do with it. It's for a horizontal build. All right, so it comes with some screws inside. Then you have your deck and it screws on top of that and this screws on the inside. And I'm not 100% sure if 
the silicone ring fits over the top of this and you have your actual tank section where you can block off your juice flow. I'm not sure if this goes over the top of the RBA, but we're gonna try it for you guys. At the very bottom of the box, you have your instructions. And it has a lot of information on here. So basically, summarize, specification, and your components. And as you can see, it has a whole bunch of components to this mod. And on the bottom, you have your sections. And you see it has the screw to unmount your air deck. Or your chimney is what I call it. But yeah, let's get into it. Alright, so let me get that stuff out of the way. We're going to get that RBA base. We're going to look at some stuff. So we have this RBA base right here. Take this apart. I don't have my coil in here anymore. It's pretty much dry. Uh, let me see. It's the first time opening this up. This out. You have this coil right here. I'm not going to be using that. I'm actually going to be using some clapping coils. I'm using the Coilmaster V2 DIY kit. So. We're going to see that first. This is probably going to be impossible trying for the first time on camera looking through my my phone. I'm actually using my phone to do close up today. So I just don't want to mess things up. I hope I didn't just lose the screws. No, actually the screws are in this already. So we have that. Then we have to loosen up these screws. Drain this out, and then we have our coil right here. Just want to make sure that this is going to fit because this does look a lot bigger. And the actual coil that it has. That came with so it's gonna be a pretty tight fit but it does look like it's gonna work maybe I can adjust it underneath like that maybe we'll see all right so let me unscrew this other screw Wish it was a little bit easier. It does, it's pretty cool. You have heat sink fins on the bottom of here for your actual airflow on the bottom. So you have cool air going in and your RBA base doesn't really get that hot to begin with. So to, by, the look, by the look of things, it does look very difficult to build on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna Put this on here and kind of build it sideways at first. I'm gonna wrap one coil at a time. Let's see if I can zoom in for you guys because it's kind of difficult for me to do it through the viewfinder. Doing it kind of under my camera. Kind of tripping out on this because I actually didn't know. Um, I kind of went out of focus of the camera, but this does actually have a ledge right here, and it's actually holding my wire in. 
And I didn't know that. I was actually tripping out, thinking that my wire was going to pop out. I was like, how's that not popping out? So that's a really, really big plus on this thing. So let me tighten down this side. And then I'm going to pull this side through. side one is so easy what happened try this again turn it down nope popped out so I'm just gonna give this a little push to get it into that channel I'm gonna tighten this down hopefully it doesn't pop out again So now it's in here and it's not coming out. I just want to make sure 100% because I don't want this thing popping out when I'm using it. My coil is kind of getting all jacked up. So let's just adjust this thing to where we need it. There we go. Got it on there. I believe that's right. So let's clip this coil now. I have my cutters right here. So let's get it in real close. And clip this lead. There you go. Now let's clip this lead. Alright, so we got this clipped and I'm just going to double check my hefty cutters. There we go. Just don't want it shorting whatsoever. And then set a tank. There we go. It's got a little piece of 36 gauge hanging out. All right, there we go. Perfect. So we got our collapsing coil right here installed. As you can see, guys, like this thing man it's way in there so we got the clapton in and try unscrewing this so we're gonna unscrew this part i don't know how exactly far it unscrews there you go then you have this whole piece so i guess this whole piece comes along with the actual section what we're gonna do is we're gonna insert this in and I honestly don't think it's gonna work with that yeah that thing is it, doesn't, it looks like it's a lot bigger so with the coil um, feels like it's really tight all right so look at it my coil actually looks like it's too high still it's crazy
I mean, really hard to wick. He puts his back on. Shirt's tight. Then the only thing we could do now is tighten this down onto the 510. Throw this on here. Check our resistance. All right, so I'm at a point eight. I mean, hot spots all over. How do I get rid of the hot spots? There's no way to work on it. Can I strum the coil in there? Let me make sure. 0. 0.6. Okay, so. Strumming coils at its finest. So, all right, so we got this thing with a coil in it. Now we got a wicket. I mean, I can't use the o ring. I wish I can use that o ring because this is going to be kind of wild. But we'll try it out with the RBA base. This is something really different, and this is my first time hands on. So, you guys get to see exactly how this thing works as well. How hot is this? It's kind of hot, so set this down. Oh, it's hot too. All right, so wicking this, um, I'm gonna try wicking it right now. Turn on my little fan. See if I can cool this thing down. For a second and we'll get into wicking in just a second all right so I had this cooled off I had it sitting on a fan for just a little bit so we're gonna get some wick in this thing and oh man this is gonna be really difficult so let's take some good old trusty Japanese cotton and we're gonna cut some off. I guess this is a point, 2.5 millimeter. I'm gonna be using not a whole lot of cotton. And we got this cotton right here. Man, I'm terrified of this. The coil came out to be at 0.6 ohms so pull this through hopefully I don't mess up the coil and I like to pull it back and forth maybe get it a little bit looser because I don't like super tight cotton because that actually causes your cotton to not juice properly in the center. It's kind of like a trick that I use. Pull it back and forth so it kind of gets a little bit loose and worn out. There we go, feels just nice. All right, so um, wicking this thing, I've never seen anybody do it, so I want to do this first time. So I'm just going to eyeball it on this O ring down here. Let me see. O ring. Just going to snip it. 
right there. All right, so I snipped it right at that O-ring. So let's take that, throw that little piece of cotton away. And then we have that right there. So let's do the same thing with the other side. So eyeball it on the O-ring, so right above it, and bam. You need to cut a little bit more slack off because it didn't cut all the way. There you go. All right, so we have this thing with cotton, but it's a really tight space. So what I'm gonna do is actually, I'm gonna cut a little bit more off and hope it works. All right, so let's try this again. Hopefully it works a little bit easier. You're basically only supposed to like cover up this hole just a little bit. I mean, you block it off so the juice doesn't just flow on in. But the hole itself has part of the, the base of this thing on the bottom. So you just need to have it kind of lightly fluffed in there. That actually worked out pretty good. So with this RBA, you cut it to like about here, just a small eyeglass screwdriver like length out past the deck and it should be fine. So let's stuff this in. And the juice I'm gonna be using for this because I'm gonna put a little bit of juice on it now because Not too crazy excited about my build. I mean, it just seems like it's so sketch because it's so tight in here. I'm gonna show you. Everything's just so tight in here. I feel like it's so sketch. I feel like this is touching or something. Stick this in here, push it out. I mean, it looks okay. Hopefully, it's still at 0.6 ohms. I mean, I can't strum the coils really anymore with the cotton already installed. So, I'm going to be using some Vitasia e juice today. And what I'm going to use is some um, Rainbow Road, so hope the best. Kind of focus a little blurry, but it is what it is. Apologize. All right, so let's juice this a little bit more. Get it like really saturated. Enough to trust it. All right, so let's get this hot and ready. All right, so what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna install this coil in here. Actually, let's take the base and screw this bad boy back on here. So So we got that, let's get the screwdriver going. Screw this down. Screw it down tight. And nice and snug. I mean, I'm not really a big fan of this. It feels like really loose compared to the other one. So let's do that and then let's take this and line up the, the little notches right here in the side. There's actually notches on this coil RBA base right here. Let's see if I don't want to focus. All right, let me see if I can find the notches. There it is. So, bam, it's in, as you can see. And it goes one way. If you have a notches right here. Is it out of 
to focus. There you go. So you have that notch. Where's it going to sit in? There it is. Just right in. So you just got to spin it until it's tight. And then my coil, I guess, wasn't that tight. So there it is. Yeah, see that notch? Put it right in there, and then you get your base. Screw the base on. This piece, install this, put it nice and tight. So open close, it's really loose. Let's get that. Ohm meter, just want to make sure that there's no short because I don't want to fill this up and then just be screwed a short so you got to play it safe every single time that you're building so let's put this on meter mode and why is it jumping 1.9 ohms 1 1.86 Eight, twenty nine. What's going on? Because that point eight, I don't know why it was way up there a minute ago. All right, so let's try this out. So juicing this thing, it's it's easy. You have your three holes for juice and air coming out. Jesus, high VG juice from Vaptasia, it's delicious stuff. Rainbow Road is, as we all know, it's Fruit Loops. And then we take this, take the top cap, screw it on, and we're ready. So let's take it back up top and vape on it and talk a little bit more about this thing. All right, you guys, so I am back. We took a look at it. We built on the RDTA section and there's pros and cons, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the pros on this thing first. The pros, it's a very, very good flavor chasing RDA. If you want to just have very excellent flavor, or like I say, I don't know why I said very excellent. If you want to have an excellent flavor on this atomizer, I mean, it's very, very good. I can't say any bad things about the RTA section. Well, when you have the RTA section inserted in here, basically how it comes stock, when you have removable coils, it's just outstanding the coil itself i don't know what it is but it wicks very very well i've never had a dry hit on this thing so that's an excellent pro it's a four mil tank so you're not going to really go through juice like crazy it doesn't eat juice like a lot of other tanks out there it's basically a sub ohm tank but it doesn't eat that much juice it kind of stays wicked and it gets you very satisfied with your vape um just with the flavor i mean it doesn't have too crazy of a, a open airflow. It kind of has more of a restricted airflow. But just with this thing, I what I was told and what I actually think about it is more of a flavor chasing RTA. With the RDA deck for the cons, um, 
it's very hard to build on because it you don't really have a base to hold it. So you have to do it in your hands. Another thing I'm not really crazy about is that when you have the RDA base on here, you don't have the silicone ring on the inside. So it makes it very easy to turn on and off your juice flow by accident. I mean, you could be vaping on it and you can kind of move your mod a little bit or your lips and you'll turn your juice flow off and you're, you're prone to having a dry hit. And just by bumping it, maybe if it's in your pocket, you can accidentally have your juice flow turn on and your, your wick might get over juiced and it may leak. I mean, I haven't had any problems with the sink leaking whatsoever. I mean, that's a huge pro that I've, I've left this thing with the juice flow off and it sat there for months and I, I just dried out my coil. I turned off the juice flow, vaped on it. Dried up my coil a little bit, let it sit there for like three months. Then I came back to it, took it, took the bottom off, looked at it, and there wasn't any, any juice whatsoever on the inside. And I looked at my coil, took it out, inspected it, and my coil was fairly white still. It didn't really get gunked up. It didn't get gunked up over time of sitting there. And when I looked at it, it was fairly dry on the inside. And that's just because there's some air that came out with the vapor, I guess, when I blew into it, it got in the bottom of the section. But when you have a leaky tank, leaky tanks tend to just start leaking out and then you'll have juice all over your mod or all over maybe your your uh, tank holder or whatever you have sitting there to hold your tank. Uh, that's not the prettiest sight. I've had that problem before with other tanks where you just have it leak all over the place and it's just a big mess. You just have to clean it up. But this thing has no leaks whatsoever, and that's really cool. The design of this thing is really nice. It's got heat sink fins on the on the top. It's got their little dots on the sides that makes it a little bit different than a lot of other tanks. Then you have their drip tip. You can't really change the drip tip out from other drip tips, but it's actually a very good drip tip. I'm very happy with this thing. I'm not too crazy about the airflow on the drip tip. I never really use it. Sometimes I open it just like one or one and a half holes put that right now and it has a pretty good vape i mean it's not too hot of a vape it's not too cold of a vape it's just perfect right on point and the flavor is just outstanding on the sink so what i would rate this tank let's say zero out of ten i would give this a 9.5 because it's an excellent tank i'm gonna take a vape on it and we'll talk about pricing in just a second All right, so for pricing on this thing, pricing is actually pretty expensive if you're getting the Trophy Edition. Then they have the regular Black Edition, Gold Edition, and then the Stainless Steel Edition, where they have a couple of them. Like I showed you before, this is the Stainless Steel. I do not have the Gold Edition, but if you want the Trophy Edition, it's black and gold. Um, you just have like a gold tank inside, and then you have black outer. I mean, if you want to buy two tanks and customize it yourself, you can. But the price, like I said, for the black, gold, and stainless steel is $54.99 on their website, SamuraiMods.com. And the Trophy Edition, it's more expensive. And this is only a pre-order only, and it's $69.95. Fairly high price for this tank, but it is an excellent tank that doesn't leak. And it looks very, very nice. It doesn't look like all of the sub ohm tanks that are out there. And it's just really, 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 really well made. Um, there's not that much more I can say about this. It's a very awesome tank, like I said. I'm very blessed that they they laser etched my logo onto here. It's very, very nice that they did that. I thank them so much because I'm really happy because I like this tank so much. And it's got my logo on it. And I think that's awesome that they wanted to collab with me. Big shout out to them. Make sure you guys check them out at SamuraiMods.com, Samurai Mods on Instagram, and I will leave all the links, all the information down below where you guys can pick one of these up. They're selling out very quickly. These are a very hot item and they're limited edition. So if you're into buying limited edition vape gear and items, they have shirts, they have hats, and they have the tanks, and they actually have two mods, and they're coming out with a couple more things pretty soon. Anyway, so like I always say, stay strong, vape on, peace out YouTube, till next time.